popular belief in this day and time, and make no mistake about it, Darwinism is atheistic. It is. It is atheistic. It is basically, inherently hostile to God. And so the broad way leads to destruction, but the narrow way leads to life. And Jesus said, I am the life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And so, make your choice, make your decision, and no matter what the consequences, no matter what the circumstances, no matter what the cost, it will be worth it all in eternity. For what would you give in this life in exchange for your soul? And what would you trade in this world, or give up in this world, for the glory that will be revealed in us in heaven? Paul said, the things of this world, the things of this life are not worthy to be compared to the glory that shall be revealed in us in that time. For it's not just life, but it is life in the presence of a loving God forever. It is a joy unspeakable. How many times have you in your life experienced true elation? I mean to be really elated, spontaneous uh, eruption of joy. Not too many times I've seen people have spontaneous eruptions of joy and gladness, and to where they could not they could not contain their joy. But what is heaven? It is that kind of elation, that kind of joy, that lasts forever, and there is no penalty for it. You don't pay a price later for it. So it is that kind of joy, that kind of gladness, to where you just erupt in song and praise of our Lord forever and ever without an after effect. So glory be to his name and praise him for he has provided a way, a way that, that, that extends beyond this life extends all the way into eternity. There was a, talking about the end and the consequences of traveling the Broadway uh, and speeding through life, hurrying through life. There was once a, a Baptist church on one side of the road and Assembly of God on the other side of the road. And they had uh, each one of them standing out in front of the, the pastors of each church, standing out in front of the church, holding up a sign that said, The end is near. And cars sped by, you know, and the end is near. And the driver poked his head out the window. Bunch of religious nuts, bunch of religious. Uh, um, what, what, fanatics and then they heard the tires lock up and a loud crash and one of the pastors looked to go over to the other one and said you think we should just simply state the bridge is out <laughs> so, so there is <laughs> someday uh, it may not be obvious today, but someday there will be a crash. Uh, there will be an end. And when you face that end, it will be, uh, it will be forever. And so uh, we sing the song, Nearer my God to thee, near to the heart of God, we sang just a minute ago. Most people are living for their own satisfaction, their own pleasure. There they go. Down the path that led nowhere they trod, where their whims were their guide, and their pastime their God. And so Jesus said, the narrow way leads to life, and the broad way leads to destruction. And so I would say to you today, and I believe the Lord Jesus Christ is telling us today to give our lives totally committed to Him 
in the repentance of sin, and I accept him as your personal Lord and Savior, and serve him with zeal, joy, and gladness until he calls you home to your eternal reward, no matter what the cost, no matter what the price. It may not be the easy road, but it is the right one. Our Heavenly Father, thank you this morning for uh, your word. Lord Jesus, thank you for the warning against traveling the broad way. And I pray, Father, this morning that you would uh, that you would speak to our heart. If there's someone here today, Lord, that needs to make a decision for Jesus, perhaps they have a special need for prayer, then I pray just now, Lord, that every choice and every decision that is made might bring honor and glory to your holy name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.